Hi everyone, my name is Thorin Goodkind and I am a good and kind person that teaches chess and yes, Goodkind is really my last name. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to checkmate with a knight and a bishop and this um, video was requested by one of my um, subscribers. Um, she um, wanted me to do an advanced video. So this video is for the advanced players. So if you take a look at this position, white has a knight and a bishop, and we definitely want to force a checkmate in this position. The black king is on the edge of the board, and if you notice, white um, has a white square um, bishop. So because of that, we want to force the king. Um, oopsie, let me get the king right now. Now what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and build this position. Okay, so sorry about that. We're going to force this king over to a8. And the reason why is because the a8 square is a um, knight square. And we have a knight square bishop. Now, if we had a dark square bishop, then we want to force the king over to h8. But... Since we have a white square bishop, we want to force the king over to the um, a8 square. Okay, so it is white to move, and um, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we got to force the king to go to e8. So that means, um, and if we, um, so if you notice right now, this king is controlling these squares. So the question is, how can we force this king to go to e8? The answer is we're going to go ahead and move the bishop to h7. And the reason why we're going to do this is because this bishop now is controlling the g8 square. Black's only move is to move the king over to e8. What do we do now? So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and move the knight. Now notice that the king... Um, and a knight, they're one square diagonal. Once, um, remember, if the king and the knight, if they're one square diagonal, it's time for you to move the knight back to the fifth rank. Now, when you checkmate with um, the knight and the bishop, the knight, it goes um, in a W um, fashion, like this. This is really, really important um, to remember. So I'm going to go ahead and move the knight back um, to e5. Now, black has two options. The king can go to d8 or it can go to f8. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move the king back to f8. Um, and what should we do now? Well, it's time to check the king again. So I'm going to go ahead and move the knight back to d7. And remember, I am um, sorry. I am um, still um, moving the knight in a W fashion. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the knight here to check the king. Notice that Black's only move is to move the king to e8. And what should we do now? Well, since the Black King is attacking the knight, we don't want to lose it. So we're gonna go ahead and move the king over to e6, so it can protect the knight. Okay. Notice that the king cannot go to um, b square, so the only move for um, black's king is to go to d8. And what should we do now? Well, we don't want this king to um, escape to the c7 square, so we're going to go ahead and move the king over to d6. Um, again, um, black has two options. Um, the king can go to e8. Or I can also go to c8. In this example, um, we're going to go ahead and move the... Um, black is going to go ahead and move the king to e8. Notice that this king is trying to escape to f7. Notice that the black king cannot go to f8 because of this knight. So because of that, um, we're going to go ahead and move the bishop over here. Um, to check the king. And notice that since we're controlling all of these squares, 
Vax's only move is to move the king back to d8. Okay, so now um, we're controlling these squares um, uh, next to the king, so that's good. So what do we do now? Um, well, since the king um, is on the same line as this knight, we have to do a waiting move with bishop. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. We want this bishop to still control the e8 square. So we're going to go ahead and move the bishop to h5. And also, um, we can also move the bishop to f7 too if we wanted to, because it's still controlling the e8 square. Black's only move is to move the king over to c8. And what do you notice now? The king and the knight, they're one square diagonal. And do you remember what I told you? What do you do if the king, if the black king is on the, um, is um, one square diagonal to the knight? It's time to move the knight. Do you remember where we move the knight? We move it in the W um, um, formation. So we're gonna go ahead and move the knight over to C5. Okay, black king has two options. I'm gonna go ahead and move the king to D8. And what should we do now? We're going to continue to do the W formation with the knight. So we're going to go ahead and move the knight over to b7. Look where this king can go. The king cannot go anywhere except for um, the c8 square. Okay, what should we do now? Again, the king is attacking um, our knight, and we don't want to lose the knight. So we're going to simply move the king over to c6. Um, and now the king is protecting the white knight. And notice that the white king um, is protecting, um, is, is also controlling the c7 and the d7 squares. And also notice that this knight is also controlling the d8 square. So this is actually really good for us. Um, Fact's only move is to go to b8. And what should we do now? First of all, we don't want this king to escape to a8, um, to a7. We're gonna go ahead and move the king over to b6. And now this is this is really important because notice that the white king is controlling um, these squares, and that's next to this king. Okay, so let's say that the that king goes to c8, and he's trying to escape again. What should we do now? Okay, well, obviously, we don't want the king to go to d7, so we're going to go ahead and move this bishop over to g4, and it's attacking, it's checking the king, and it's also controlling the d7 square. So, Black's only move is to go to um, b8. Okay, um, what should we do now? Well, um, if you notice, the black king is almost to the a8 square, and that was our goal. Okay, so we got to um, get ready f um, for a checkmate. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead um, and move the knight over to c5. And then after that, notice that black's king, um, the black's king um, only move is to go to a8. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and do a waiting move because remember we gotta um, um to in order to checkmate black the bishop um needs to be um on this long diagonal so we're gonna go ahead and do a waiting move um so we're gonna go ahead and move the bishop to h3 also notice that we can also um go to f5 we can also go to um e6, um, we can also go um, to d7. The only thing that we care about is this bishop controlling the c8 square. Okay, it's black's only move, and the black king's only move is to go here. And do you see how we can checkmate black in, one, uh, sorry, in two moves? So I hope that you saw knight to a6. The knight is checking the king. And Black's only move is to move the king to a8. And notice that um, the king um, is in the corner right now. And that's uh, what we wanted. 
Now we can checkmate flag by moving the bishop to g2, and this is a checkmate. So that's fantastic. But I want to, um, so, um, so in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to, um, what to do if the king decides to go to d8. So that's going to be for next week's video. Let me know what you thought about this video by commenting below. And if you like watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Okay, have a good night.